In this video, we're going to be opening up the brand new Shining Fates Collector's Tin. We've had some absolutely amazing luck with the Shining Fates so far. Let's see if that luck continues with this tin and let's get into the video. As I say, we've had some amazing luck with the Shining Fates pulls so far. Uh, this has just come through the door this week. Uh, Shining Fates, I have no idea what's inside of this tin. Obviously the promo card for a start. Uh, but I don't remember ever collecting these as a kid. So I don't know if they were a thing when I was a kid. Um, maybe they were, maybe they weren't, but I can only ever remember collecting singles. Um, to get hold of something from Shining Fates has been absolutely amazing. I've obviously got the two more here as well, and I've opened up the um, the collector's box, Pikachu collector's box. So if you haven't seen that, I'll, I'll link up here below, but also check out the channel. Um, I am collecting Viva Voltage as a priority, that's kind of my, my first set back, that's the, the collection that I actually want to collect, but when I seen the Shining Fates one, when I seen some of the, the pulls that you can get inside of here, when I seen the hype and like the, the stock shortages, I thought this got to be a collection that I get hold of. Fortunately, I have been able to get hold of some stock, um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'm not sure what's actually in this box, so uh, obviously Shining Fate box, uh, the Crumb Rant uh, promo obviously I know of. Um, on the back it says, uh, obviously one of the three uh, of the promos, which I've got all three, so I've got this one and the other two as well. Uh, you get five TGG, Shining, five TGG Pokemon cards, Shining Fates booster pack, um, and you also get a code card as well for uh, probably behind the promo, I'm assuming. So uh, yeah, let's crack this open and see what's inside. So I don't know what comes with these. I've, obviously, I've opened up the ETBs with some of like um, the dividers and so on and so forth. I'm assuming it's literally just what it says on the back. Yeah, it looks that way. Uh, so a nice metal tin. Metal tins actually could come in really useful for storage and things. Let's see how well protected this promo card is. Nice. Let's uh, get that out. And that was actually a lot easier than some of the other ones. I really, really like this promo card though. Uh, if you're interested in code cards, I do give away my code cards. <laughs> probably seen it when I flipped it over but um, all of my promo cards, uh, code cards sorry, for um, my packs are coming later videos essentially. I do YouTube shorts for about 30 seconds where I just rip off all of those code cards and you can just take a look at them. Um, please take them away. But if you're interested in that, subscribe down below. Really nice uh, clean card. It really stands out with it. it. It's kind of completely silver on the back and completely shiny and then that orange really pumps through from the camera and I really like that. Uh, really nice promo card, looks in great condition. Nice, yeah. That's a really good, good, nice card for it to, to pull with a promo, so yeah, I like that. Uh, and then just the standard tin, so the tin will come in really useful. So I'll just put these to the side. Camera, do we cast that as a pull? <laughs> I'm casting it as a pull. Uh, and then we've got five packs here. Obviously, in the Shining Fates one, just like all uh, packs with a Charizard in, Charizard is the card that you want. Um, I've seen that Charizard card go for ridiculous money, like five, six, seven hundred pounds already, like only a couple of days in, ungraded, uh, which is like a thousand dollars. That's insane. It's like actually crazy what kind of money this is going for already. Just shows the hype around Charizard. I'm really hoping we can pull this in this, this video. So let's get into it. So we'll leave that Charizard in the middle to last. Um, obviously, we don't want to open that one first. It's got to be last pack luck, isn't it? So uh, let's let's leave that to the last. Uh, Crown Rant start, nice promo card. Let's go left to right, and we'll uh, we'll go left left uh, left right, and then work our way into that Charizard. Let's see what we can pull. We've had reasonable luck um, up to this point so far. Uh, we've had a Rainbow Rare from Char from our first collection box, which was pretty cool. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check that out. As I mentioned, code cards will come on in a future video. And four from the back. We'll start with fire. Let's start with the as we mean to go on. We want that Charizard, so it's gotta be fire. Lightning, not ideal, but let's uh, carry on. Tropius, Rotom, Cramorant, Coughing. I always get this one, I can't, I can't seem to get the word out. Gossy Fleur, Cacnea, Tutel. Really love this artwork from Eevee. Is that right? 
Uh, did I put it in the wrong spot? Oh no, actually no, I have seen that these are getting, uh, the, the reverse hollow slot is getting this. But let's, uh, I mean, come on, the, a phalanx V, I'll take that all day, I'll take that on this card. If there's something even better behind it, I know it's not a, uh, a V, but if there's another hollow behind there, that'll be pretty sick. But that's a great first pack for us, phalanx V, another one we need we've not seen this card yet so absolutely loving that i love the shining fate set like the other the vim voltage set for example they they seem to some of the colors seem to mesh in on their v's and v maxes these really really stand out i really like them um beautiful artwork as well which is you know that's why i'm in the game i don't play the tcg i just collect for the artwork i think it's really cool same for things like the comics and stuff i collect them just for the artwork and i've got some of the board games and things on display here up here which again i collect them for the artwork i'm displaying them for the artwork so i absolutely love the artwork phalanx v absolutely amazing to get that in the first pull that's in the reverse hollow slot so let's see what we got in our last one anything exciting a oh, nice another hollow um a frost moth nice I mean, first pack, that, that's pretty, that's pretty good if you ask me. Uh, Phalanx V and a Frost Moth um, Hollow, that's first pack look right there. Um, I'm hoping that th there's going to be more in there. I'm hoping these tins are stacked to the max. Um, I don't know what the pull rates are on these, but I'm, I'm hoping they're absolutely stacked up. So let's get to the next one. Let's see what we can get. Uh, I say I'll go one left, one right, one left, one right, and then we'll finish on that magical Charizard for the last one see what we can get what a first pack that is and in the reverse that like reverse slot it's just i don't know that i'm not sure how what i feel about that but um yeah i don't i'll take it i'll take it i'll take a, a, a v and a hollow so i'll take that all day let's get rid of the code card four from the back let's go grass ah Thwacky, uh rusted shield rotom buzel Rowlet, Trapinch, Snom, Grokey, a reverse hollow ball guy. Nice bit of a random card, but yeah, we'll take it. And then for the last card, nice, a hollow Rillaboo. Man, these pulls, I'll, I'm taking these all day. Really nice card, Gr awesome artwork. The artwork in the Shining Fate set is so, so, so good. I really like all of the artwork that we got here. That, Ball guys are a bit funky, but yeah, uh, but th that, this hollow is really nice. Um, and what I really like as well, which I haven't seen in some of the other sets that I've pulled, the artwork of the, the Pokemon actually really stands out from the hollow from the back. Um, and even whatever he's throwing here is the same. It, it really stands out. You can clearly define the edges of the, the art of the Pokemon, which is really, really cool. Um, Tentering things looks absolutely perfect on the front, I can't complain. It looks a little bit whitening towards the top. Um, on the back yeah pretty good so let's move on to the next one so we've got two hollows so far uh, a v and obviously the promo and then the reverse hollow as well so uh, let's go to the left so we've got the next one let's get rid of that get rid of code and let's go light I'm always one behind, so it was grass last time, now it's this one. Uh, Tropius, Ball Guy, nice, we've got both. Um, Team Yell Towel, uh, Qfant, Eevee, nice artwork, Buzel, Yanma, Trapinch, Reverse Hollow Thwacky, and a standard rare Yanmega. Uh, well, I'll, I'll look out to go at some point. I mean, look at this from three packs already, so uh, yeah, I can't complain too much. Let's leave that Charizard to the last. Let's get into this one. That Eevee on the front, which is nice artwork. I really like that, so that's a good starting card for me. Codes over there. And four. Let's go. Let's go fight it. Oh, what? I bet the last one's fighting. I'm always one behind. Uh, gym Trainer, Rotom. Floatzel, nice, there's the artwork for the Eevee. Morpeko, Fusel, Nicket, Kreknir. Uh, that's it again in the wrong slot. So it's a hollow Thraki, um, which is really, really nice. Again, it, it feels weird having it in this slot rather than the last slot. I mean, I'm coming from Viva Voltage. I don't know if this is standard. Viva Voltage definitely was never in this slot. Um, it was always just reverse hollows, so 
I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know what this last card is. I'm hoping it's something good. Um, but I'm, again, I'll take the hollow here. I mean, look at these pulls so far. It's pretty crazy. Let's see what we can get. Nice! So we get a camera V, which is to go with our promo. Um, really, really nice. Man, these pulls are actually insane. I mean, this is four packs into a five pack tin. I don't know what the pull rate on these are, but man, these are really, really good pulls. Uh, Crab Ramp V, which is uh, nicely uh, goes with our promo. I wonder if the V of all of the promos is inside the tin. That would be pretty cool. Um, centering looks pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks nice and clean. On the back looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of whitening up towards the top. But no, it looks pretty good. Man, these pulls are pretty sick. I'm taking these pulls for sure. Um, I mean, look at that. I mean, we, we still got another pack open from this tin and we've pulled the promo, obviously, which comes with it. Two Vs, three hollows, and obviously the standard, uh, rev the reverse hollows as well. From four packs, that, I'll take that. That's really, really good. These Shining Fates packs seem to be absolutely stacked. I'm not sure whether they're stacked or whether because of the stock shortage, they've managed to push out all of the, the like, the, the big pulls, like the Vs, the Vmaxes, the Rainbow Rares, the Hollows, and you haven't got the other pack, the other stock shortages to like wash out um, some of these, so like you wouldn't have these as often. I don't know whether that's what's going on or whether they are just truly random, um, but either way, the pulls of the Shadow Fates one seem to be absolutely crazy at the moment. Let's get into the last one, it's obviously the Charizard, we save the Charizard for last because the Charizard is what we want. Let's see if it's in here. Let's uh, try and get this open properly without it spinning everywhere. They seem really loose, the Shining Fates uh, packs. Let's get rid of the code card. And obviously, last pack was a Charizard, we want the Charizard, which means this will be a fire. <sighs> it won't. Uh, Cremorant, which is nice, obviously the promo. Team Yell Tallow, Towel. I never, I always want to say Team Yellow with that one. Team Yell Towel, Thwacky, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey, Yanma, Morpeko. Again, it catches me out every time. But really, really nice card to pull. A hollow wheezing. Um, Old school card, I absolutely love this. It brings me back to like the Game Boy days of uh, going into to, to where all the Weezins were. I absolutely love this. Um, again, another awesome pull in this. Th what is this look? I mean, this pull rates are absolutely insane. And I've got one more card. If this is the Charizard, I'm gonna absolutely lose my shit. Um, but let's hope it's there. Let's see what happens. Last card. Ah, oh, it's a standard Dreadnought. Can't complain with that. Four hollows, two Vs, the V that came with the promo, and two reverse hollows. I mean, what more can I ask for? From five packs, that's pretty sick. I, I'm really happy with that. I've been amazed how good um, the Shining Fates set have been. Like the, the pulls on it have been absolutely crazy. I've already pulled a Rainbow Rare, and I've already this is only my ninth pack that I've opened. So yeah. Absolutely crazy pulls on this. Still hunting for that Charizard. I am obviously looking to, to collect more of this Shining Fates one if I can get the stock. But yeah, pretty good so far. <laughs>